Welcome back to Security in 60 Seconds, the game show where GuidePoint Security's experts have 60 seconds to answer questions about their area of security expertise in exchange for fabulous prizes. I'm your host, Tristan Morris, and today's guest is Kristen Bell, Director of AppSec Engineering. Kristen, it's again a brand new day. How are you today? Wonderful. Kristen, you've clearly been working on your speed, but you'll need to be faster to win today's prizes. Speaking of which, today Kristen will be competing to win the headlining slot at next year's football halftime show and a year of training to prepare. Kristen, are you ready? Yes. Your first question with 60 seconds on the clock is, what is the most important aspect of your job as an AppSec practitioner? The most important aspect of our jobs is to be educators and mentors to development staff. Um, it, you know, we still work in this world where there is no outlet for developers uh, other than self-education to get trained in secure coding um, without buying something or, uh, you know, being part of an organization that has an AppSec program. So we find that we are at, in, at the very heart of what we do, teachers and mentors. Kristen, that was a fantastic answer. I've been told by our producers that I say fantastic too much, but you know what? I'm going to lean in. I like the word fantastic. That being said, Kristen, your second question is, what have you found to be the most successful approach to bridging the gap between AppSec and DevSecOps? 60 seconds, go. A fantastic way to get started is, first of all, communication and all seriousness, joking aside, right? So we want to do a couple of things. We want to bring siloed development groups together um, to be on that same path and on that journey and to have exposure to one another and to be able to feed off of each other. So that is Security Champions Program. And then we also want to have a centralized location for all things AppSec to self-service options for developers as well in conjunction with the Security Champions Program. What a fit. I'm, no, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to say it. It's my show. I'm saying, it, that, Kristen, that is a fantastic answer. Thank you so much. Your third question is, what does a Security Champions Program do? Well, what we want them to do is come together once a month and start working on objectives together. So if we're talking about like baseline secure coding requirements, we're talking about maybe coming together and doing pilot projects of things like threat modeling or an architecture review. So, uh, but they're basically, it, it gives the developers a seat at the table. It's not always a democracy, but we want them to have a say in, uh, and to be able to bring trouble to the table if they're struggling with something and all of those kinds of things. So it opens up those lines of communication, lets them feel like they have a seat at the table and are part of their own, the, the destiny of their own processes. And uh, it just, it, there's a whole lot of learning that happens as well. No, no, I'm going to, no, I'm going to, fine. A wonderful response, Kristen. Now, unfortunately, in previous episodes, where you've fallen apart is on this final question with only 30 seconds to go. So, Kristen, are you ready for your final 30-second question? I hope so. Excellent. Known for their burgers and fast service across the U.S. and worldwide, McDonald's also serves a variety of other dishes in other countries. What special meal does McDonald's sell in the Philippines? 30 seconds and go. Five seconds of silence is not a great way to start your 30 second question. Christine. You know, Go. right? Something, something with seafood. That is not a full answer, Kristen. We need you to be confident here. Let's go. Give us your answer. You've got 10 seconds remaining. Oh, goodness. Um, uh, Unfortunately, Kristen, you are out of time. The answer we were looking for was spaghetti. Better luck next time. Thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of Security in 60 Seconds. For GuidePoint Security, I've been Tristan Morris. We'll catch you next time.